Guys, this... You good? Ma'am, you're too heavy for this fucking nonsense. You're too heavy for this... Look, you're pushing me back. Get down. Come on, let's go outside. Doing the fucking most. Oh, man, guys. This is gonna be a different video than any kind of video that's currently on the channel. And I might make this like a regular thing incorporated in this channel. I might make a separate channel where I just do these rants and discussions and just about the shit that I see on the internet that blows my fucking top. You know, it's weird being a, a millennial on the internet. I'm 33, about to be 34 next week. Yeah, we grew up with the internet, but it was like internet 1.0 and the beginning of internet 2.0. But we didn't have the option of like doing shit like this for money or for clout you know i'm all for gen z getting their money however they can becoming content creators that's all cool and i'm all about it because i'm not a boomer who hates it but i'm also not gen z where i grew up with the internet fold i know what it's like to step outside and touch the grass you know but when i see shit like this this screenshot that i'm about to put right here like bro look at this screenshot are y'all seeing this right here he is on tiktok live and not just on live he's on tiktok live with 1.3 thousand people watching him and all he's doing is pouring ketchup mustard barbecue chocolate syrup maple syrup flour egg powdered coffee creamer and peanut butter on himself for digital currency they're buying these different kind of digital currency pearl galaxy goggles corgi a duck whatever the fuck let's go and they are giving it to him and anytime he gets one he puts whatever is on this fucking whiteboard behind him on his body he's doing this for money all right now if you're this guy what drove you to this point right here like why are you doing this online to yourself there's no way that when he gets off of this fucking live stream and when he turns it off and it's just him in his apartment and he's looking in the mirror and he's covered with mustard, ketchup, maple syrup, and fucking eggs. There's no way he's thinking like, yes, this is what I was put on this earth for. I feel so complete as a content creator who does this. There's no fucking shot. How do you not feel humiliated for yourself you know these people aren't on here doing this because they're like oh yes my favorite content creator went live Ernest, i love your fucking videos my guy they helped me through some dark times they are not here for that these people are here to see an obese white gentleman who is probably down bad in life humiliate himself for money does he not feel like a prostitute what's the difference between a prostitute who gives up their vagina to whoever some random passerby or who's willing to pay 300 and this fucking guy who's willing to give up his self-dignity and self-worth for people on the internet who don't he can't see their faces they're nobody's anonymous is anonymous is they're anonymous they're literally giving him money to humiliate himself and i'm sure if you were like Ernest, if you were making a thousand dollars a night doing this would you do it and this is a great question what's the value of a dollar you know what I mean? I'm not doing this shit, dog. I'm 33 years old. Even if I was 25 years old, I'm humiliating myself on the internet for people to laugh at me for money? I guess these fucking heart galaxies or hand are the fucking hand things. The hand hearts, you, you put ketchup on yourself according to the fucking dump live menu. <laughs> Literally a fucking menu of ways that you can pay for him to humiliate himself even further. And somebody said in one of these screenshots, this is genuinely sad. And it is, it is. Do you think when he reads those comments, like obviously there's kind of comments that are like ketchup, LOL, this guy's hilarious. When he sees those comments like that, that are like, bro, this is not cool. Get some help. These people are fucking laughing at you. This is sad. This is what your life has come to, to the point where you're so down bad. You're giving, I don't even know what these things, a uh, heart hands, let's just say cost a dollar. You're, somebody's giving you a dollar and you're pouring ketchup on yourself. Like this is something that is a anomaly and it's only on fucking TikTok, I feel like. Maybe, no, not even Twitch. Twitch is the, the hoes on Twitch, they give themselves up in other ways, <laughs> but they do it for money as well. Oh, shake my ass, 10 squats for $5, but bikini change for 200. And of course they're making mad money, but even them, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, this is kind of weird, huh? But this is such an internet TikTok only because I'm sure a lot of TikTok users are all of age, we're immature age where this is funny. Like if somebody offered you a dollar on the street to pour ketchup on yourself, are you gonna do it? Let's just say there's a line of 500 people all with $1 to put ketchup on yourself so they can laugh at you and all the passer buyers can be like, this fucking guy's weird for a dollar. Are you gonna do it? I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing it for $500. I'm not doing it for a thousand dollars a night. I'm not doing this shit. Like I got nephew, I got nieces, I got friends, I got brothers. You know, I got a brother, I got family. I got people that, that look to me and like want me to carry myself with a certain level of dignity. What does this guy tell his parents? Oh, dad, I made a hundred on live tonight. Oh shit, what'd you do, son? People were paying me to pour condiments on myself. What? It's just so fucking like, bro, I'm, I'm looking at this screenshot right now. I'm, I'm flabbergasted to this point, to this day. If I donated this dude a money gun, I'm sure it's some level of currency. He's willing to slap himself in the face for that. If someone donates a dancing beaver, he'll rub it into his face and his shirt. This is sad, bro. I just want to know, do you find, do you watching this right now? Do you find this interesting? This guy, would you click on this and watch mindlessly? Do you find this sad? Are you in the camp that's like, hey, he's getting his money. Let him do it. That's his prerogative. Like, yeah, it's his prerogative. I'm not stopping him from doing it. But I just like it's humiliating. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. This kind of shit gives me the ick. And let's just say this doesn't work out long term for him. Let's say he does this for two years. What is he putting on his resume? This isn't legitimate social media work. You're not going to get hired as a social media manager or coordinator or, you know, oh, you built up your you built up your brand. Let me take let me take a look at it. Let's see how you can get hired. Oh, you, you didn't really do anything. All you did was just pour shit on yourself for money and people followed you to laugh at you. This takes no skill. It takes no talent. And, you know, people are only tuning in because he's fat. It's the moral of the story. They're only tuning in because he's fat. If I did this, I have like a, a dad bod right now. I weigh like 200 at six feet, 5'11", right? It's like overweight slightly in my face and like in my torso. Like I look like I'm normal, you know? This It wouldn't be as funny if someone who looked like me, who had like the level of confidence that I did, like it's not bothering me that you're telling me to do this. Like it's not as funny because it's not as humiliating because now you know that I'm working the angle of I'm doing this for money and I don't give a fuck. Like that would be the angle. That's not the angle that I get from the screenshot from this dude. This seems desperate desperation it screams desperation and this is just the shit that i see on the internet that makes me go Whew. i'm glad i'm a millennial i'm glad i'm a millennial to where i understand how the internet works but i also understand uh, how not be chronically online how how to how to avoid how to avoid doing this is this shit not wild to you